Years pass, and I haven't talked to my children. All of a sudden, I get a message from Janet, my daughter. I get really excited and decide to call her back. We agree to meet at a Chinese restaurant to catch- Oh, it's Janet, my baby girl. How are you doing today? I'm worried about you, Mom. Tell me what I can do to help you. I don't need your help. Are you ashamed of your own mother? I'm ashamed to tell my friends about my parents. All you can do is just tell the truth. Simple enough. Dad decides to leave the house in southern Arizona to go to a desert where no one is found. Mom gets excited because she gets to go on a new, a new adventure. Are you ready for an adventure? Bring one thing and one thing only. Okay, come on. Leave the cat. Oh. Cats don't like to travel. <laughs> Whoever doesn't like to travel isn't involved on our adventure. Those fake stories are what make your kids excited to go on adventures. All these adventures remind us of poverty. Why don't you go out and find a job? Don't worry. One day I'll build a glass castle. You'll never make one. I am exhausted, but I don't mind having to move everywhere. We soon decided to move to Las Vegas, where we had to live in a motel. During the day, Rex and I would go out to find money for the prospector for the building of the glass castle. Jan begins lighting things on fire, and in a blink of an eye, the motel room started to fire up. Soon, the room was completely on fire. The children ran out of the room. Brian! Jeanette, why would you guys do that? I'm sorry, we're just trying to have fun. It was my fault, don't blame Brian. How can the kids be so irresponsible? Now we have to move again. We moved to what they call Battle Mountain, a desert known for finding gold. Every day, the children would be out finding pretty rocks they thought cost a lot while my husband was out trying to find the real gold. Everyone had their own activities. I continued to concentrate on my own art. Piano, it'll uh, make my artwork better. It's too big to carry. We have to leave it outside. Uh, I don't care. We leave it outside. Now all those great pianos don't play outside, so now the whole neighborhood can listen to me. I'm making beans for the children. I don't understand why they don't help me. Kids, I'm making beans. We're going outside to play. Why don't you want to help me? We're just going to go outside. At the house in Battle Mountain, me and the kids are watching TV. I sneak a bite of cookie. Mom, you have food? Give us some. I don't have any. Are you sure? It looks like you were hiding something there. Okay, you caught me. Let's have some. The car broke down. Now you've done it. I think we should move out east to West Virginia with with Irma. Rex doesn't want to go with us, so we pack and beg him to go. Rex, we need you. Janet, life's full of tragedy and comedy, but you should learn to appreciate the comedy more. Wow, it's nice of you to let me see my grandchildren before I die. Nice to meet you, Grandma. Don't call me Grandma. Call me... I gave her a glare, hoping that she understood that my children had to call her Grandma. Kids, Irma asked that you guys don't laugh in her house. I don't think Irma likes us very much. She's just an old lady who's had a tough life. How did you guys stay at school? It's okay. We're going back to Phoenix to get our stuff. Okay, bye. Days pass. The door slams shut. The kids come running at us. Kids, we're home. You're back. How's Phoenix? Why didn't work? We got robbed. 
days following, Dad decides to tell the kids that we bought a house on 93rd Little Hobart Street. All of us are so sick of the cold, and our washing machine is broken. Kids, you should hold your laundry like this, like the people in Africa. Um, okay. You should. Uh, we're wasting our money on stuff we don't need. Thanks, Mom. Back at Harvard Street. Mom, why aren't you at work? You have a job. A little job work. Street. I'm going to New York as soon as school's out. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I think you should go. It's a plan. What's wrong? I'll write to you when I get there. Uh, there's nothing wrong. It's just that. You get to go to New York, and I have to stay out here. Three years later. Rex was too lonely without the kids, so he decided to pack everything up and move to New York. A new adventure starts, and yet, of course, our van breaks down in the middle of the highway. Our clothes and furniture spilled all over the highway, but everyone else on the road is making such a big deal out of it. Oh, Janikins, me and Dad are here in New York. So the van that broke down on the highway was you? Oh yeah, the van had some small technical difficulties and stuff fell out. And Dad almost got arrested. Oh, it was on the radio. Oh, on the radio? We're already here in New York and we're already famous? What's going on in this world? <laughs> we went sightseeing, and we went to Rockefeller Plaza, and we went on the subway. It was. You guys should have been there. We found a room in a boarding house a few blocks from Lori's apartment. The landlady helped us move in, but we fell behind on our rent a couple of months later. The landlady rudely threw our belongings on the street last week. We moved from place to place, and in the end, We've ended up at Lori's apartment once again. Lori and Rex have been arguing almost every day, and I have just overflowed the apartment with my artwork. I, I don't think you care. I don't know. I think you have to leave. I will do whatever I can to help you establish. And I don't think you and Dad can stay any longer. No, I'll be fine. Uh, all you have to do is just get some adrenaline running and you'll be fine to realize your potential. We lost the van. We have been sleeping on park benches and we visit various soup kitchens sampling their cuisine. We go to churches for food and public libraries to take our bath. You could say we are homeless. We call the kids sometimes and occasionally we meet up at Lori's. I tell the kids of our life, and they seem to feel guilty about it, but being homeless is an adventure. It's not such a bad life. I think you should find a fun room in someone's nice apartment in exchange for taking care of children or the elderly. I spent my life taking care of all you kids, so now I think I should take care of myself. But you haven't been taking care of yourself. Okay, why are we talking about all the bad stuff? I just saw some good movies last week. We should talk about movies. A year later, Rex began to become very sick. Rex had a heart attack. It was just the machines that were keeping him alive at that point. But we all knew that he wouldn't want to be shackled to machines, so an hour later, they turned the machines off. Life is definitely different without Rex, but he will always be in my and the kids' hearts. We're having our first Wald family get-together since Rex died. Janet looks beautiful and blissful with her second husband, John. While Laurie and Brian have both been doing extremely well, life is still and always will be an adventure. We should have a toast to Rex. I've got it. Life with Rex was never boring. <laughs> <laughs>